Beloved, I pray that you've been enjoying hearing that you are not of the kingdom of this world, but of the kingdom of our Lord, having been adopted. One of the things as adopted children that we get a chance to do is enter into seasons of fasting. Fasting over the years has become a discipline for me. And an acrostic has helped me think through it. The F being feast. As you set aside time, feast on the word of God. Man does not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The A, adoration. Enjoy God for who he is. S, stands for supplication. Pray specifically and also look for ways for you to serve your neighbors. Serve your family sacrificially. Lastly, thanksgiving. Thank God for who he is, yes. But also thank him for the provisions that he provides for you. Being grateful or arrest your attempts at grumbling during the season. Beloved, enjoy fasting together. The great men and women of the Bible were people who prayed and worshiped God. But I think you'll agree with me that Jesus Christ opened up a new dimension of prayer when he told us to pray our Father. And he regularly pulled away from the pressures of life and ministry to spend time in prayer. And the Apostle Paul not only encourages us to pray, but encourages us to pray ceaselessly. You know, this Kingdom Citizen series has been a timely reminder, particularly in this politically polarized time, that one of our most important and highest privileges as Kingdom Citizens is to pray. That's why we're inviting our church families to join us in a week of prayer. Each day, we will be uh, focusing on prayer points related to each of the sermon series in the Kingdom Citizen series. As Edward shared in his video, we're also asking you to join us in fasting as you are able. And then on Friday evening, we're gonna be hosting a worship and prayer night uh, here at Redeeming Grace Church. If you're unable to join us in person, we invite you to join us on our YouTube channel online. Brothers and sisters, this is an important time in the life of our churches and an important time in the life of our nation. This week of prayer is an opportunity for us together, as Justin communicated a couple of weeks ago, to go to the throne of grace to receive mercy and help in our time of need. Let's do this together and let's watch how God will work.